Um, thanks for joining in the live stream, everybody. And in case this is your first time, uh, I guess welcome straight six fans. Uh, I am straight six fan, or Grant Tommy is my name. This is my channel, straight six fan, and uh, I like to focus on budget minded, relatable, creative builds, a little something I like to call offbeat hot rodding. But um, this episode or this live stream, I kind of just wanted to do, guys, um, almost a fan appreciation episode. I just wanted to. First off, just say thanks. I don't. I don't feel like I don't. Don't say it enough. Um, trying to look at the camera here and not the screen. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, I. You know, it's it's been a this whole YouTube journey has been. Um, you know, maybe not super fast and maybe not uh, prolific by any stretch of imagination, but it's been a journey and something I've I've. It's a part of my life now, and I um, I couldn't. Couldn't keep doing it if it wasn't for you fans, and so I just wanted to say thanks for everybody who who checks in on a regular basis, interacts with me, and uh, I really do appreciate it. So um, I've got some questions for you guys as well, um, if we're going to do fan appreciation. kind of want to get some feedback from you guys, because um, I feel like this is a great platform to do it, these live streams. So um, I'm going to throw some questions out your way um, later on in the show, but um, I also, if you... If you read the um, the title, of course, uh, I'm also I have recently had a Northern Tool Tool haul, um, and I got some really good stuff. Um, and uh, sorry, just trying to keep up on comments here too. But um, yeah, with of course the Fairmont project, as things are getting more serious here in the garage, and I, I'm going to have to be doing some uh, more technical things than I've ever done before. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I try to learn. Um, and I apologize, I've got a text message coming on my phone, so I'm trying to clear that. Um, I need some better tools. And first off, like, just to give you an idea of what I mean by more technical skills, um, one of the things that didn't make it in my 0-60 to 60 video, uh, on the Fairmont was, uh, I've got some sort of a radiator leaking problem. Uh, I can't quite figure out exactly where that's coming from at the moment, but that's, that's just an example of, I'm gonna just gonna have to get... Part of the reason I'm doing the project is to get better at my mechanic skills, better at diagnosing things. So, um, so that's an example. But I'm gonna go grab my gloves real fast, and I'm gonna kind of show you around some of the tools that I bought recently from Northern Tool. I'm pretty stoked about. Um, some things kind of long overdue, and some things are, well, just stand by. Oh, I'm smart enough to keep the uh, gloves close by. <laughs> But also, you know, the other thing I want this Tuesday live stream to be about for you guys is kind of a sneak peek insight. Yes, Drew, um, actually, I do. I owe you some donuts in the Rat Rod Radio Flyer. Um, I blew a tire, of course, if you saw that episode. Um, I'm going to be working on that this weekend, getting it ready for racing my brother's go-kart. But what I want these live streams to be about... Um, or sneak peeks into what's coming next for the, the Fairmont project. And so I've got a little bit of that to show you too, some stuff I, I bought over the last weekend. Um, if you're following me on Instagram, that's even a faster way to get updates because usually I can't keep secrets. So um, Instagram first, these Tuesday live streams second, and then um, of course the Sunday upload, the 8.30 p.m. Central Time Sunday upload. But let's grab my phone off of, first off, let's switch the camera around. I'll grab it off the tripod here. Nice, didn't do anything. There we go. Okay, so first off of my northern tools. Oh, all right, fine. Cat's out of the bag. So last weekend, I bought a set of 17-inch wheels from, uh, these are like from a Dodge Charger, like a 2000, you know, the 2004 or 5, whenever they started remaking Chargers or Magnums. So 17 by 7, uh, 10 hole steel wheels. I wanted the Crown Victoria P71 wheels. Um, same kind of design, 10 hole. Um, but from my research with the Fairmont guys, these have actually better offsets than the P71 wheels. And these are only 7 inches wide, whereas the Crown Vicks are 7 and a half. I love wider wheels, and I would rather have a 7 and a half than a 7. But I guess you just run into fitment problems on... Uh, on these Fairmonts. So that's why I opted for these. Got these from a uh, salvage yard. Not a U-pull-it. Um, 
But anyway, they got a set of four, and so there's the other three. Uh, as you can tell, I don't have a whole lot of room. There's our recycling corner, so kind of got to improvise. But we'll get to the tool haul. So Northern Tool, and I mentioned it a little bit in last week's episode, how, um, you know, everybody's kind of got their brands, their places to go for tools. For whatever reason, Northern Tool seems to be hit the sweet spot for me. I'm not going to try to convince you guys to have to shop there, but I was getting so frustrated with uh, how long it took me to find sockets uh, when I was working on the carpet in the rat in the Fairmont that is like at Northern Tool for something else and so I bought a socket organizer and this is pretty pretty slick 3 8 drive you can see um, this is kind of my pathetic state of <laughs> tools um, looks like I need to fill some well I have a 916 it's just on my socket that's what I was using in the interior but um, I can uh, fill this out a little better than what we got but that was the first thing I bought um, organizations always awesome so then we'll move on to the other thing I bought. And Classic Ride Society, thanks for dropping in. Uh, I appreciate you jumping in on the live stream. Um, yeah, Northern Tool works for me. I'm not, again, I'm not going to try to do a total sale job here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Joker Graphics. I, I usually don't loan tools out at all, but um, just for that same reason. So I bought this at Home Depot a number of years ago, and it was an open box item. I think I spent $40 on this. And it's sort of served its purpose over the years, but it's got a bad, like there's a valve, the valve's leaking really bad. Um, I'm sure if I really wanted to, I could take it apart and fix it. But um, Ironton brand is kind of the house brand at Northern Tool. This thing was only, I think, $22, and so I figured, what the heck. This would be, I just thought this would be a nice little pickup, nice little snag um, to do a tool review on, something that could do an extended tool review on. You can see it's not, it's it's definitely a dinky little guy, but um, for porting the heads, doing some light porting on the GT40 heads uh, that I want to do, I figured, hey, why not? Why not give it a shot? So this is going to be one that I think is going to be fun to do, like an extended, um, you know, like six-month review. So... On to the next, there we go, item. Da, 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 da. So I upgraded my floor jack game. And um, Steve Rob Reviews has a video up on how to fix um, a floor jack that doesn't want to go up anymore, which is what this guy sort of is. Um, again, it's one of those things I could probably spend some time and figure out how to fix it. I'm pretty sure it's probably pretty simple. But... Um, I mentioned this, I think, last week, how uh, I got this as a Christmas present right before I started driving, so probably age 16. Uh, and, yeah, there's a 10 millimeter socket joke. Yep. <laughs> as I'm finding out more and more, I thought it was, I thought half-inch sockets were the, were, were the memes and everything, but anyway. Um, so I got this for Christmas probably before I started driving when I was like 16. And so I've had it, I'm 33 now, so I've had it for 17 years probably. And I guess point is, I don't feel bad about replacing a jack after 17 years. Um, it still works. So I'm thinking, yeah, old car, that's exactly where I was going next. Um, I haven't tried Northern. Um, was, I'll probably throw this in my Tacoma, uh, to have the side of the road but the problem is is like this doesn't go up high enough to get my Tacoma off of the off the ground so that's why I bought this strong way three and a half ton jack and the other thing is just now that I'm getting more serious about having a project car right so hold on is I mean you saw how many pumps that was on the craftsman and now I just have something that's a lot bigger can roll roll under and um it's got 21 inches of lift and so you can see now how and <laughs> if i have to change tires on the uh on the tacoma there you have kind of an idea of of, of what i have working out in my favor now so especially like whenever it comes time to move that thing on my own um God, that, those rear ends are heavy. <laughs> Having something like this is going to be a lot nicer. 
lot and, and also you can see you know low profile like I love that as well so those are the tool haul items um, I got you updated on the Fairmont project let me plug my phone back in here to to charge up and um, I want to get back to some of the, the fan topics here with you guys drive shaft true what's going on man hey thanks for jumping in the live stream and um, we got 11 people in here. This is probably my best impromptu Tuesday live stream, 11. Um, you know, I've been trying to keep these Tuesday night ones to um, like 15 minutes just because I um, don't want to spend too much time. I, you know, it's easy to spend a ton of time here on YouTube. And forgive me for my bumbling around here for a second. So just stick with me. Whoops. Okay, let me take my gloves off here. I'm sorry, guys. This is going to be horrible uh, replay action after the live stream. But, um, yeah, I. so I want to spend some time with you guys now and just have conversations with you guys. Nope. Oh, there we go. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. So I have, like, one of those selfie stick clamp things for my tripod and the trick is is like I have to put my phone in cattywampus on this thing because of uh, where my volume buttons are and so it's really like a delicate tricky there's like only one spot that I can put this thing on so I apologize for we're just gonna call this good and hope it doesn't pop out again so that's what was happening Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So, fan appreciation, fan fest, fan... This one's for the fans, whatever you want to call it. So, well, first off, if you guys have any questions for me, throw them my way. Oh, I want to start there. Um, but, let's see. So, question I want to ask you guys, and I think I know what most, some of you guys will answer. Um, and I'm not sure I will heed your advice right away. <laughs> But should I start a Facebook group for my channel? Um, I'm a less is more man, and I know like with social media, like everybody's got one platform they're most familiar with, or comfortable with, or like, or prefer. For me, um, I thought it was Twitter, which for my sports stuff, for the, my college football stuff, like Twitter's the best for that. But for automotive and YouTube stuff, I've found Instagram. Uh, hey, thanks, Drive Chef Drew. Um, Instagram for me is my my go-to spot. So we've already got uh, I already got two people for Facebook. So the thing with Facebook is like um, it's just well, like I said, I'm a less is more man, and um, just one more thing to manage. Uh, but from what I understand, you know, I'm reading all these you know self-help YouTube books or whatever and things like that. You know, building community is one of the big things. And, of course, Facebook's great for the conversation. You know, of course, we have the comments below. That's one way. But to for have, like, ongoing discussions. So I definitely see the value in it. Um, but I guess I need you guys to help nudge me along. So so there's one. So, yeah, it looks like the answer I knew I was going to get, I got. And so <laughs> I need to do it. But, yeah, Joker graphics, I, I'm, I'm kind of with you there, but, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's great for, it's like a forum, you know, that's the other thing, though, whereas, like, Instagram's not as good for, like, ongoing discussions, um, but I don't know, I mean, I like what I do in the garage, and I like my projects, but really, are my projects that conversation worthy? <laughs> so, I don't know, um, so there's that. The other thing I wanted to kind of throw out there, um, is so with like uh greg's garage uh my co-worker he's actually back in town today uh we have an all-office retreat tomorrow so it's gonna be cool to get to hang out with him uh, for however many minutes hours or whatever i get um yeah. yeah i know how i can i i do link my uh instagram to, um, to my personal Facebook sometimes. So if you're a friend of mine on, 
Facebook. Um, you, but I, I don't know. I like Instagram. Anyway, back to uh, Greg, Greg's Garage. He used to do, he used to host, um, we called it the YouTube Extravaganza for Garage Gang members. Um, and it would be centered around, now I think the first year they did it, I think it may have actually been in Florida, and it wasn't Greg hosting it, but he kind of just took the torch and ran with it. Now, the, what, so when he ran with it, I think they did it like three years in a row, maybe four. And it usually focused around the... Uh, uh, all right, Drew. <laughs> yes, okay. Um, it focused around a rat rod um, car show, which is pretty cool. It was in um, just north of Kansas City here. One year, they did a really cool, like, everybody got together and helped knock out bodywork and paint on his uncle's 55, I think, Chevy pickup. And that ended up being a really emotional, really cool thing that they did because um, it was months later after they did that, you know, kind of overhaul in style, like work over Labor Day weekend. Um, his uncle was diagnosed with, I don't remember which kind, I want to say pancreatic cancer, you know, just one of those ones that spreads really fast. And um, even though I didn't, wasn't, I was really new to the game at that time and I, I did wasn't able to get involved in that, um, and I don't have any body working skills anyway. But that wound up being a super emotional, rewarding experience for Greg when he was able to look back, you know, months later, because his uncle, when he knew he only had months to live, drove that truck all around, and that truck wasn't probably going to, because it was in pieces, like fenders were off. So, I, since Greg moved out of town, um, and the extravaganza kind of falling apart, I. I want to take that on me. I want to come up with the next extravaganza idea. And I, I so I put some thought to it. And here's the idea I want to float out to you guys. See if there's interest. So I'm not going to do it in the Kansas City area just because, I mean, that's easy for me, sure. But there's not a lot of Kansas City area YouTubers in the Garage Gang. Now there's Cat Loco and Hard Knocks Forge and Craig Durbin. You know, they were on my show know your neighbor show a couple months ago but here's my idea so i want to throw this out to you guys see what you think and so we're going to go ahead and plan for 2019 and i'm thinking springtime so somewhere between march and april i would skip may maybe june so let's think about march april and june those three months so you guys tell me what works better for you and that is to meet up in tulsa oklahoma at like five o'clock on a friday and then drive Route 66 to Oklahoma City Friday night. Stay in a hotel Friday night, partied up in Bricktown. Get up the next morning and then drive from Oklahoma City to Amarillo, Texas and go to the Big Texan Steakhouse. Um, you know, the one that has like one of those challenges, eat a 72-ounce steak and 700 baked potatoes or whatever. <laughs> and nine breadsticks or something like that. Anyway, it's not to do the challenge, but I think I think it would just be a cool way. There's a lot of Texas area um, YouTubers in the YouTube Garage Gang, and so that's just an idea I've had. I know I've thrown it around to a couple people, and they seem to be uh, on board. But um, I just wanted to throw that idea out there and see if there was some interest. Um, Cadillac Ranch. Well, uh, is that in the New Mexico side, or is that still in Texas? But, sweet. Well, I mean, I'm glad, you know, it sounds like... So, so I'll throw out, like, the best date I could think of to, to date was um, the weekend of Palm Sunday. Um, I don't really like doing it around religious events because I think people should have that chance to be with their families. Now, granted, it's not Easter, so, like, I don't know about you guys. I don't spend a whole bunch of, like, extended family time on Palm Sunday as much as I do on Easter, but, um, but it still just kind of like feels weird, but, so it would be a Friday, Saturday event, and then, you know, you'd probably stay the night in Amarillo, um, and I'm thinking like, so Amarillo I know is within shot for people like, um, the Open Air Garage, um, Dwayne Whitaker, and, um, I don't know if Greg will watch this, I, I should, th I'll throw this idea out at him tomorrow, see if he would drive down from Colorado, because that's the other part of, you know, it's like a mini power tour. And so the thought is, is that some, so there's some people I know, like in, like uh, Joker Effects, Graphics, and um, 
Cutworm 59, like you were in Arkansas and Louisiana, like it might make more sense to go just for the first night and do like uh, just just do Friday night meet up in Tulsa, drive with us, party up with us Friday night. And then they might decide when they wake up Saturday, it makes more sense for them to go back. Um, Hey, Tractor 5474, yeah, we're just talking about just an idea of a get-together, so, um, so yeah, um, I just, but the amount of miles that we would cover from Tulsa all the way to Amarillo, I think just gives it, um, gives, gives more people access to, to pull that off, so, anyway, talk amongst yourselves while I drink some water here, and But that's um, I, that's it for my idea at the moment. Um, whatever week in Palm Sunday is, because I also checked that against like the NCAA tournament, which people don't. I mean, I'm a fanatic college fan myself, so if my team somehow uh, got got that far, the Final Four. I'm gonna want to like be locked in a room by myself watching that. I don't think you guys want to be with me. <laughs> me um anyway yes it is a fairmont behind me uh tractor 54 second more if you want to know more about it i've got probably six or seven videos on it on my channel so i've got a dedicated playlist it's called project low fairmont uh low fair as in like uh, low cost so the goal is to build the whole thing for four thousand dollar budget which that's getting um hey old school only from down under night cheers uh, welcome to the show. It's that uh, that's awesome. Let me think. If you're like in New South Wales, I think you're 15 hours ahead of me. So if I'm doing my math right, if it's like seven o'clock, that's uh, 12 would be seven in the morning. So it's lunchtime over there, maybe. <laughs> um, so yeah. So there's my 2019 extravaganza um, idea. Um, the one other thing I wanted to cover on this episode before I, I shut her down, and I've already gone a little bit longer than I usually like to, but that's all right. It's great for watch time. Um, well, first off, I want to I want to ask you guys, not challenge, but if you all could somehow share one of my videos. Well, first off, I would love for you all to share my dear David Freiberger video. I really want to catch his attention somehow and tell him thanks. I mean, that's what that video is about. Um, but um, if you don't share that video, somehow just share my channel in any way, shape, or form, whether that's just on Facebook, whether that's, uh, another YouTuber that's active on your channels in the comments, say, hey, I think you might like this guy's channel, and I would encourage all of us to do that for everybody in this chat, like, if you just recently found someone that you're like, oh, this is a cool channel, and, you know, this is all about community, right, so I know kind of tastes and flavors of my subscribers, Go go suggest the new channels you found to other people. I just recently did that, like, Tractor, um, or MHF Farmer, or <laughs> MHF Tractors is, um, he's kind of one I'm really stoked about. He only has probably 30-some subscribers, but I can see a lot of potential in his channel. And I think, you know, if you like building wild rat rod stuff like like me, He's doing that to tractors, which I think is really unique, and I think his content has something in it that can be really, can really catch on in some circles. So anyway, please, please, if you guys could all share my Dear David Freiberger video, like on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, any way you can, that I would really appreciate that. But um, I'm doing these live streams for, you know, watch time to uh, get to that 4,000 hours. I'm at probably, I think I'm averaging like 3,700 hours right now. So these live streams really help. But... I still need to work. I'm still south of 700 subscribers right now. So, um, I'm, I don't know. I feel like I'm working hard towards it best I can without getting ridiculous. I know I could spend more time on YouTube. I, I know that, but, um, within reason, within, with having a, um, <laughs> thanks Joe. <laughs> I know you, I know you are sharing my Freiburger video. Um, uh, sweet, sweet. Thanks guys. Um, but I wanted to also take an opportunity in this live stream to ask you guys, what do you think, I want to hear from you guys, what do you think just about my channel, um, 
like my style of videos. What what things do you like about my videos? What things don't you like? What things would you change about my videos? And like for me, and maybe I put way too much emphasis on this, but I think about watch or not. Well, yeah, it, it relates back to watch time. Like. I feel like the ideal length of a YouTube video is like six to nine minutes because we all have busy schedules. Um, we don't always have time to like sit and watch a 20 minute video or 18 minute video. And, and when you, when I don't have a camera crew following me and I don't have a professional editor, and I'm doing this all on myself. One, it's really hard to edit longer videos. Well, it's not hard. It's just, it takes longer, but also like, I think it's hard mono style to keep someone engaged for that long so when you look over your shoulder it makes you feel like well maybe maybe they are joe maybe the cops are <laughs> that was a good comment I like that. um um so so like what for you guys about my videos is a good watch uh, is a good time length like i watched a, some you know how to how to gain subscribers help channel and interview and and the guy was saying that really youtube like favors about like a 10 to 12 minute video but for me like i just know about myself um yeah old school only for myself i just know that when i see some of your guys's videos that are, are so long it's like yeah probably not gonna watch all the way through like that's just the honest truth just because i you know, it's like Roadkill is like a 22 to 30 minute episode all the time, but you've got characters, you've got two people, and you've got a camera crew. So I think that makes a difference. But yeah, I think Classic Ride Society, I think Video Influencers is actually the interview I was watching. Uh, five to 15 minutes, depending on what the video is about. Just do what you're comfortable with and you'll be fine. Yeah, so um, the comfortable part, like, <laughs> I'm comfortable talking, <laughs> but I think that's part of my problem is I, I get too, um, too far into it sometimes and I, uh, yeah, um, shoot, what was I saying? Man, shoot, <laughs> I already lost track. Ah, uh, dang it. Oh, well, well. Maybe it'll come back to me. Maybe you guys in the comments will remind me kind of the point I was trying to make. I don't know. But I think that's uh, that's it. That's all I got, I think, for now. I, I mean, guys, thanks for, I honestly, thanks for all the comments. Thanks for all the views over the years. Thanks for the, the comments on those videos. Um, worried about the cops. Yeah. No, that was a... Well, now I've got uh, neighbors out there making noises, and they're probably looking in saying, what's this idiot doing in front of <laughs> his cell phone? Um, but yeah, guys, I just, again, I want to say thanks. Um, spread the word, too, about the uh, 2019 extravaganza. This, uh, keep, keep in mind, like, see, I, I want to be far enough out in front of it so people can plan around it. But I also don't want to give anybody the impression right now that anything's set in stone because there's there's a lot of details to work out there, as you might understand. And um, but I I want it to work out for as many people as possible, obviously. So so think about it. Think about if the two night mini power tour idea sounds good. We could all bring our um, yes tractor fifty four seventy four um, this weekend. Actually, I will do another. Uh, Rat Rod Radio Flyer video. I've got to get the thing um, in better shape for... Uh, I'm going to race my older brother's go-kart, which there's a video on my channel for that, too, if you don't know what I'm talking about there. Um, poke around my playlist that's, like, called Siblings and Friends' Vehicles or something like that, and there's um, a video on his go-kart. He built his out of a wheelbarrow, so... Um, but I've got to I've got to touch some stuff up on, on mine so it's a little more reliable. And uh, I need new tires. I need new tires. I need to switch around the uh, chain tensioner, and uh, jockey with the uh, throttle linkage, and um, it should be good then. But but yeah, that's gonna do it, guys. Um, any last questions? Get them in, and I'll I'll wait here a minute or two. But otherwise, I'll just close it out. So. Oh, 
I think I remember my point now. <laughs> so sometimes I think my videos get way too long because I talk too much and I'm not necessarily like, I think I can show people what I'm trying to say with video and be more dynamic about the video itself. Like, I'm not saying I would try to weed out talking altogether, but I actually did some studying on what I think a good percentages of talking to non-talking. Um, and so I want to challenge myself and force myself, sorry, there's like a gnat or a mosquito. Um, I want to challenge myself to get better at like video, higher quality, like entertaining video from the visual, because just staring at me like this talking, people can only take so much of that. So, um, so I just, that's kind of the trap that I think I get into and, and I want to try to avoid, but. Hey, well, thanks, Joe. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the compliment. So, anyway, any last questions? Get them in. Otherwise. Oh, so MHF Tractor. So, the 2019 Extravaganza, and you can definitely go back and watch this after I let it go live. You pull junk yards for Ford. I should, Classic uh, Ride Society, because I overpaid for my heads. I have my GT40 heads. I overpaid for them. I'm trying to sell those in Craigslist, and I'm finding out nobody else wants to pay the price I paid for them. Uh, but I think that's the only way I'm going to get head work done, is if I, if I resell those things, because... Uh, I've been crunching some numbers, but uh, MHF Tractor, so the extravaganza, you can watch back this video um, and, and get more details on the front end, but the short closeness version is it would be like a mini like hot rod power tour concept, and it'd be driving Route 66, but we would start on a Friday night in Tulsa and end on a Saturday, probably like, I, th I think it's only like three, four hours from, so Saturday night goes... Tulsa to Oklahoma City, and then we live it up in Bricktown, which is like a bar district in Oklahoma City. It's sort of like San Antonio's River Walk on a lesser degree. And then Saturday morning, you drive Oklahoma City to Amarillo. Um, and then, you know, Saturday, there would probably be like, we'd probably hang out from, we'd probably show up in Amarillo like noon to, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about, the classic ride. That's partially where I, I was just lazy and um and bottom off craigslist but um we'd probably end at the big texan in amarillo at like uh one o'clock in the afternoon maybe a little later so you miss the crowd um but then we'd have the rest of the afternoon to hang out maybe hang out at a hotel or, or cook out somewhere if if somebody lives close or something or people can go their own way so that's that's the idea for the 2019 extravaganza and it'd be sometime in either march april or june so Think about that. Rewatch the um, shoot. That was probably at like the twenty minute mark or something. But oh yeah, sure. In old school only, like not only would I do a video, but every YouTube creator who would be on the trip, I'm sure, would do some some spinoff of the video. You know, and what'd be really cool is well, hopefully, I can get this into a shape where I f trust driving it for that many hours. <laughs> I don't know if I will, especially with the radiator problem I currently have. But um, worst case scenario, I'd drive my Tacoma and I'd throw the Rat Rod Radio Flyer in the bed. So either way, I've got, I can bring a piece of my channel to the mini power tuber thing. So, all right, I've gone long enough. Man, this has been a, such a sweet, oh, sweet. Uh, yeah, I should, you know, classic ride. One of the things I do know I want to do is go to a U-Pullet and look for an H-pipe off of the, of a five liter sting and um i've got an idea i i want to throw a flow master on that too because i just i love the flow master sound and i've never had that before and um so that's, that's definitely one idea for sure but um that project will continue and i i honestly think the way it's mapping out that the project's going to go um I will probably stop working on it like around December 1 and then find a place to store it over the winter and then fire back up working on it around March 1. Um, but, you know, I would go to the storage unit and probably drive it, you know, around the block once a week or weather permitting, you know, whenever it's warm out or whatever. Um, but, yeah, we should shut it down for good. Um, 
this was great. This was awesome. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Um, I got crazy watch time out of this. And I, and I feel like we had a really good live stream, too, just, like, engaging the whole time. And uh, good stuff to talk about. Um, I hate, sometimes when I go on live streams, I hate tuning in and see people just kind of sit there and wait for the, the next comment to come in. So I try to do better than that, and I try to have a, kind of an idea planned out for these Tuesday live streams as much as I can. But that'll do it for this episode. It's been awesome. Thanks for people joined in from all over the world. We have Canada, we have Australia tonight. But that'll do it for this episode, this live stream. Until next time, guys. Say it with me. Peace out.